Hello my friends, you're probably familiar with Nano ELS controller for a metal lathe and with the Rocketronics ELS controller that unlike Nano ELS supports two axes. What I have for you today is a Russian digital feed project developed by Oleg A and folks from the chipmaker forum. I didn't write any code for this project. I made this PCB so that it's much easier to build this controller. The parcel from GLC PCB. The minimum order there is 5 PCBs, so I get 5 of all of my PCB attempts. This is the second attempt for digital feed for me. The previous one failed. It took me about an hour and a half to carefully solder everything together. That said, I knew where everything should go, so your mileage may vary. Those resistor arrays are really time savers. And the order of soldering also can save some time. Here you can see it fully assembled. On the back it's driven by Arduino Mega. Here we have control for feed, screen brightness, this is for switching between Z and X axis, this is switching between 1 and 10 scale, and different modes like threading, cones, spheres, and different sub-modes for internal, external, or manual feeding. Here we have the joystick. This is a rotary encoder that allows for precision movement of the axis. In terms of components, we don't really have very much here. We just have two potentiometers, eight position switches, nine buttons, four LEDs, um, four arrays of one kilo ohm resistors, nine resistors in each, and then we have six more resistors. Five screw terminals here that are pluggable. But sadly, I only ordered the detachable piece of the plug, so I don't have anything to solder to the PCB. As you can see, the case is also missing. Once I have a model for it, I will post it in the video description. On the back, we also have a buzzer. The first mode is threading, synchronous fitting, then asynchronous feeding when we feed at a certain speed regardless of the spindle turning. Cone. This one is reserved. Sphere. And I believe this is a dividing head. There is also a sub-mode switch. And I apologize because I am really just learning how to operate this thing because I didn't write the code. So uh, bear with me here. The middle mode is manual. And here, no, you can't feed here. Um, the thing that kept puzzling me for so many days is why uh, is it so hard to move the axis using the joystick? Well, I think I understand the logic now. So the joystick is not intended to actually move the axis uh, when the machine is uh, not doing any operation. When you just want to move uh, the cutter somewhere, you use uh, the rotary encoder. So here I switch to axis Z, and here I switch to scale 10, which means it's going to move 10 times faster. Now I can actually, you know, get somewhere. So here I would set the limit, and then move back, then switch to scale 1, and the X axis. Now I can dial in. Okay, let's do the most basic thing there is for an electronic lead screw. Set the pitch we want and make the lead screw go. Millimeter per revolution, 0.15 millimeter per revolution, and the bottom line really doesn't matter because we're in manual mode, so it should just go with the spindle. Okay, so this is working. You can go left and right, this is nice.
respect the left limit. He does respect the limit, that's nice. And then to external. And it seems to be happy now. No, it doesn't want to do anything. Okay, folks, I have no idea what's going on here, how to make it do the actual threading, but I suspect the problem is uh, with myself. And um, I see now, it looks like the machine, you know, is actually working. It's also like a problem with my belt connection for the motor for the lid screw, because I had to modify the program to make it work with such a configuration, so maybe I messed something up there. But as far as I understand, like all the buttons and the controls are working as intended, it's just a matter of understanding how to actually use the thing. I have published the PCB, shared the code on GitHub, so if you feel like going on, on an adventure, then please take a look. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.